Hi everyone, it's Dr. Kelly. I'm so happy that you're watching this video. This gives me the opportunity to answer some of your questions, to tell you a little bit more about me, how I practice, how I work through Discovery Health, and how I can help you to achieve your vision and your goals and get rid of those symptoms that you're having. So let's get started. I am a doctoral prepared nurse practitioner. So I have been a medical provider since 1999. I've been a nurse practitioner. So I have a ton of experience. What I've laid on top of that medical experience is a natural foundation, a holistic foundation, functional medicine, and nutrition. I blend all of those things together with a true caring for people and helping them to achieve their goals. One of the biggest questions that people have for me is why, especially people that I worked with in the medical realm, because I started to think differently. Part of my story contains my own health. I do have autoimmune thyroiditis that my medical doctors never did anything about. My thyroid disease was discovered when my mom had thyroid cancer. Medullary thyroid cancer happens 3% of the time when somebody has a nodule, but her doctor ignored her nodule. She found it. He said, don't worry, there's nothing to do about it. Never investigated it till they found two nodules. She found a second nodule. Then they investigated it and then they found out it was cancer. She had her thyroid taken out. Now I've done a lot of talks about that. Go find a video where I talk about thyroid cancer because she shouldn't have had her whole thyroid taken out. She was never the same after that. But what that did for me was prompt me to get checked out because medullary thyroid cancer runs in families. So they encouraged me to get checked. I did not have thyroid cancer, but I absolutely was tired, was fat, had no energy, had three little kids, started to have anxiety, just was struggling like so many of you are, blaming it on getting older, blaming it on a bad marriage, blaming it on working full time and being a mom and having little kids run around, blaming it on all those things, till I found out I had a thyroid problem. Yay, I went on Synthroid. Guess what that changed? Absolutely nothing. I was still fat. I was still miserable. I still was struggling, working full time, taking care of my children. Still was not myself. Becoming more and more angry, agitated, full of anxiety. Again, the marriage issues were a lot of that problem to begin with. But what did my doctors want to do? Well, they put me on Synthroid. Yay, you're fine. Your numbers changed. Your TSH is normal. You're fine. I didn't feel fine. It didn't help me at all feel any different. And I went on an antidepressant because that's what they do next. If your Synthroid doesn't work, well, then you must be depressed, right? Well, sure. I thought, I need some help here. Maybe I am depressed. Oh, that did not agree with me at all. I did not feel good. I couldn't sleep. I had this jaw clenching and this jitteriness and I was getting dizzy and lightheaded at work. Going on an antidepressant did not work. You want to know why? Because I wasn't depressed. I didn't need that. I needed better care of my thyroid disease. I needed to get out of the marriage I was in. And I also had another autoimmune disease going on that was discovered shortly after that rheumatoid arthritis. So the system, the medical system failed my mom with her thyroid cancer and she ultimately got pancreatic cancer and died within three months after that. Failure after failure because she went to the medical system all the time. They failed me in my thyroid health. Synthroid was never the right thing for me and they never addressed my immune system problem. Oh look, surprise, she has another immune system problem, rheumatoid arthritis. Well, what do we do for that? We suppress the immune system. Okay, 
I don't want to be crippled. I don't want to be disabled. I am a young woman. I've got a function. I'm the provider for my family. I need to be able to keep on working and doing the things that I'm doing and take care of my children. So I went on medications. I took ibuprofen three times a day to function. Not to be pain-free, because if I was really pain-free, I wouldn't have needed two ibuprofen three times a day. But I was a great patient. It kept things well managed. And it wasn't until this last failure when my hand was changing, my hand was hurting, and my pointer finger was having a problem bending and straightening. And I was like 33, 34 years old at the time. I had already been on medication for a couple years well managed on my Synthroid, well managed on my immunosuppressant, you know, and then I started having abnormal PAPs because I'm on an immunosuppressant, and now I've got abnormal cells growing in my cervix. Great, they're going to give me cancer next. But going to my rheumatologist saying, things are changing, I'm hurting more, I can feel it, he completely failed me. And this was the last straw. This is before my mom passed away of pancreatic cancer. He said, well, when you can't bend your finger at all, then you let me know and we'll do something about it. Seriously? I'm 33 years old. Maybe I was 34. You want to wait. I'm right-handed. You want to wait till I can't use my fingers, till they don't open and close at all? I work full-time. I'm a mom of three little boys. And you're going to wait till I'm disabled. And then you'll make a change. That didn't sit well with me. He failed me. The system failed me. And guess what? My hands, not being swollen, working great right now. This is me without ibuprofen, without an immunosuppressant, because I changed me. I changed me. And that's what made the world a difference. The medical system failed my mom. The medical system failed my health too. So I took things into my own hands. I'm an educated person. I got re-educated through functional medicine, through nutrition, taking courses and classes constantly to learn a different way to look at it. And you know how I look at things now? How does the body work? What's triggering your body to make you hurt? to make you so inflamed, to make you have a thyroid problem, to make you have an arthritis problem. There are things in your environment. There are things that you put into your body. There are things that you are doing on a day-to-day -day basis that are impacting your health. So we work to get those things out of the way. Is that the only thing we need to do? No. We've got to work on healing and repairing. We've got to work on sleep. We've got to work on stress management. Ugh. Stress will kill you, ladies. It will kill you. I was super stressed out. And that's when I started to have problems. My body had to give. I was so stressed. It was such a horrible situation that I was in. I couldn't take it anymore. I would just started to break down. That was the time when people have a nervous breakdown, but instead... My body broke my thyroid and broke, you know, my immune system with rheumatoid arthritis. But I've recovered. And because of the changes I made, because of the new knowledge that I have, because of the skill that I have to use common sense, medical knowledge, and nutritional and natural knowledge, I can heal you too. I have helped so many women, and men too, but I mostly work with women, find the power to change. I help women to find their value. That's the first thing we have to do, ladies. You have to find your value that you're worth investing into. You're going to have to invest in your health and make some changes. I'm here to tell you, we can get you there. We're going to talk about where you want to be. We're going to talk about what we need to do to get there. And then I'm going to be with you every step of the way until you're there. Just ask 
all of the women who have given testimonials. Just read all of the comments and the changes and the things that I post all the time on Facebook and the videos that I do. I tell you about all these different women who have changed, who have found themselves again. I remember a time I was lost. I didn't like who I was. I didn't like who I had become and I was so mad because that didn't have to be me. But nobody else was going to change it for me. I had to decide I was worth it. I had to decide that my family is worth it. My children, I want to take the best care of them that I can. I want to be a role model for them and I want to be here to play with my grandchildren and great-grandchildren. I don't want to be disabled on the couch, everybody having to do for me, and there's no reason that you should be either. Just ask that woman with fibromyalgia who doesn't even believe she had fibromyalgia for those five painful, debilitating years anymore. We changed her world. We did it together. She did the hard work, and she is loving life. Don't you want to love life again? I love life again. So I changed me first. I invested a lot of time and money in me so that I could change. And it was amazing. And that's what took me to where I am today, helping you. So if that inspires you at all, I hope that showed you a little bit about the person that I am, the doctor that I am, and the why. I am and why I care so much about you. So go ahead and sign up for that new client appointment. We're going to talk about where you're at. I'm going to inspire you and give you some hope. We're going to set a plan. We're going to decide what needs to be tested and off we go until we get you where you need to be. So it was great talking with you today. I look so forward to seeing you again in the near future. Have a great day.